We've got some new details now on how mortgage stress is affecting WA retirees. More homeowners than ever before are staggering 42% are now entering retirement with a mortgage still hanging over them. Shelter WA has released the figures saying it will get worse in the next two decades. Many middle-aged residents will experience extreme housing stress as they enter their senior years. The report also shows the city of Swan, Gosnells, Rockingham and Stirling Central are the main metro areas with seniors at risk of severe rental stress. For more, let's go to financial planner Olivia Maragna from Aspire Retire Financial Services. Olivia, good morning to you. That's a staggering number, isn't it? 42%, almost half, still with a mortgage when they get to retirement age. That must be really stressful as they enter those final years. It certainly is, and good morning, Tim. Uh, definitely having a mortgage in retirement adds a lot of stress. So, um, look, this is really quite common. So we've got 42% of people between the ages of 55 and 64 having a mortgage. Um, and to put this in perspective, this is the equivalent of around about $200,000 of a superannuation nest egg that's needed to support, say, a $1,000 a month mortgage. So a huge amount of stress for retirees if they've still got a mortgage. How have we got to this point then? What are the driving factors here? Well, I think certainly if we look at the statistics, so this is a 50% increase from 30 years ago. Um, so a lot of this comes down to property prices. So property prices have certainly increased, which means a bigger mortgage as well. Um, job security, health issues, but also keep in mind a lot of relationship breakdowns later on in life. So this is where couples are having to go out and buy new properties for themselves and having mortgages much later in life. Pretty daunting to think that that number is expected to rise uh, as well over the next uh, 20 years or so. Is that a realistic expectation? Do you think that it will get worse? Look, I think there's still a lot of pressure on the cost of living. So, um, you know, I think the big thing is is coming down to, to making sure that you plan. So there's lots of free calculators that you can get access to on the internet to make sure that you're on track for your mortgage because you really want to make sure by the time you hit retirement that you don't have one. So make good use of those calculators um, and ensure that you're on track for retirement and make sure that you do plan for setbacks as well. Olivia, is your uh, role as a financial planner, if someone comes to you with a, a mortgage still hanging over them and they've stopped working, they may have some income lying around, uh, what sort of options do you put to them? Well, I think there's a few options. So the first thing is, is you can obviously use your superannuation to pay down your mortgage. Now, this isn't ideal, but it may make financial sense for your particular circumstances. Um, and that'll stop that big cash flow drain in retirement. Um, the second thing is you can consider to downsize. So look at how much you've actually got in property, minus your mortgage, and go out and only find a property worth that amount of money so you don't have a mortgage in retirement. And I think the third one is, is you know, worst case scenario, you can actually sell and rent. So, um, you know, grab that equity that you've got in there and consider renting. So again, really important to plan. You don't want to be forced to actually make these decisions in retirement um, and potentially sell something at a bad price. So make sure you are planning leading mm. up to retirement. So you can spend as much time at the Bowls Club as possible. Olivia, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Tim.